It was a tranquil Tuesday, but damaging winds could be on the way for Wednesday. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. We do have a wind alert in effect for the coast here. This is generally the barrier islands and then just inland along the bay shore here. And that's going to be in effect from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on our Wednesday. Taking a look at what we have going on this evening, you see those tornadoes popping up in Louisiana and in Alabama. There was severe weather down south, and that is coming our way. We won't see severe weather in the form of tornadoes, but we will be talking about some wind damage. Rain begins between 8 to 10 a.m. on our Wednesday, ending between 6 to 8 p.m. Essentially, it's going to be a washout Wednesday. Winds are going to be strong. Now, there is the potential for damaging winds at the shore in that wind advisory area with wind gusts of 55 miles an hour or so as we go into the afternoon and evening. And flight delays will be possible at ACY and in Philadelphia and even Newark as well just because of these winds. So let's get into it. Here's our future cast. This is midnight on Wednesday. Just cloudy skies. And then we take you into Wednesday. Dry at 6 a.m., but here comes the rain at 8 a.m. here, and then by 10 a.m., it's raining everywhere. It's a light to moderate rain for the most part as we go into the day, but notice that line that is over to our west here that you see over in the central part of Pennsylvania. That is a front, and that line will be pushing its way eastward as we go right into rush hour, and with this line, 15 minutes or so of heavy rain but also, this is where the potential for damaging winds would be. Now, this rolls off the shore by 6 o'clock. And by 8 o'clock, we're not only dry, but we're mainly clear as well. We'll stay mainly clear as we go into our Wednesday night. So, looking at our sustained winds, already kicking up as we get into Wednesday morning, 15 to 20 miles an hour at the coast. Then, as we get towards noon, this is really when the winds are on. That's when we have our wind advisory for the shore. 30 miles an hour sustained winds coming out of the south and the southwest. It's going to be a warm Wednesday, 20 to 25 miles an hour. This is going to cause issues. We're talking about some larger hanging tree branches that could really be swaying there and maybe some small tree branches fall. Inflated Santas or reindeers, they're going to be blowing around. They're still inflated. And we could be talking about toppled over garbage cans. Now, as we go into the evening, we see the wind slowly diminish here, but they're actually going to kick back up even more as we go back into our Thursday here as a cold front really passes through. And we do get another round of some stronger winds with that air pressure gradient really tightening. Now we take a look at the 925 millibar wind layer. Why do I show you this? Well, this just shows the maximum potential wind gust. And you see at 2 o'clock, 70 to 80 miles an hour here for southeastern New Jersey. And really... That line that comes through around 5 o'clock or so would have the potential to tap into this. I'm still saying max gusts 55 miles an hour, but I just want to show you what's happening upstairs. And then as we go into Thursday morning, wind gusts probably going to be around 50 miles an hour in a few spots because we'll be able to fully mix these winds again just a half mile up to the surface here. Rainfall totals generally between a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch here depending on where you are. We need the rain, so we will certainly take it. I don't expect much in the way of roadway flooding. For tonight, we'll be talking about low temperatures in the low to, excuse me, I should say upper 30s, but that will happen around midnight, and then we'll rise as we go into the morning. You see by 7 a.m., we're already around 50 degrees. Rain comes between 8 to 10 a.m., and then it's out of here between 6 to 7 o'clock or so. We go into tomorrow night, low temperatures right around freezing with those winds whipping, wind chills, are going to be around 20 degrees. So here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast for you, show you what we have going on. As we go into our uh, Thursday and Friday, there are a pair of bright days. It's a cold Thursday, 43 degrees for our high. That is it. Wind chills around 30, 50 on Friday. Saturday, we get warm, but we're going to get wet again here, and we'll see it over at the shore as well. We cool back down Sunday to seasonal levels, and it looks like the beginning of next week looks to have some wetter weather with temperatures about Average. Well, more details for you as we go into our day. You can follow me on social media for more or go to our website at pressofac.com slash weather.